Time is running out for state legislators to come up with a plan to fix our failing roads before the end of the lame duck session. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is in Lansing holding lawmakers accountable and making sure they keep their word to get the job done. This is a make it or break it week for lawmakers here at the Capitol to find the money to fix our broken roads. And so far, they've not kept their promise of coming up with a solution. Well, behind the scenes, what's happening is roads. You have everybody else who has come to their senses and realizing you need, need to raise revenue. And you got one guy, Jace Bolger, whose head is in the sand, who wants to engage in this educational lethal injection where he wants to cut from schools and he wants to cut from the cities. In the world of state government, Michigan's road funding shortage still has both sides of the Capitol at a loss. While the clock ticks down, it's as good a time as any for some old fashioned oversight. Do you owe it to the drivers to come up with a solution this week? Everybody that's had their fillings knocked out and their rims dented and possibly even been in a car accident or lost the tire on their car, yes, we do. It's The roads are horrendous. Do you consider it a huge failure if something is not accomplished by the end of the week? You know, I, uh, if it doesn't happen, the next class can take it up. Certainly, I want it to happen. Do you owe it to drivers to come up with a solution before you leave for break? I think it's important that we put in place something substantial. Both House and Senate are struggling to reach a deal for more than a billion in badly needed additional annual road funding. Meantime, they're taking care of some other things like brand new freshly laid carpeting. Yeah, apparently they can still foot the bill for that. I have no idea, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. Talk about our priorities being in the wrong place. As for our pothole ridden roads, arguably the worst in America, they remain a source of agony for drivers around Metro Detroit. Sure, state leaders say there's good work being done behind the scenes in meetings closely monitored by the governor. Lieutenant Governor's been in the meetings and he's done a lot of homework and you know he's a pretty smart guy. But don't be fooled. The bickering hasn't stopped either. The Senate passed plan still calls for a gas tax hike of more than 20 cents per gallon over the next few years, while the House passed plan takes money from schools and communities. You can plan on seeing us back here tomorrow as only two days remain for lawmakers to be able to do the right thing and pass road funding. From Lansing, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. All right, thanks, Simon.